What's up everybody? So today I'm talking about my two ramp took on took a shit on me again. Uh it's supposed to be a copy of a Fender Dual Showman, which a Fender Dual Showman is a Fender twin in head form and it's an 85 watt head. And yet it's distorting at like two on the volume. It's like a nasty distortion, it's unpleasant. So I and I also just re replaced six of the preamp tubes because they were bad. No result. I don't know what to do at this point. I put like I put almost four hundred bucks into the damn thing, and it's just not just not doing it for me now. I was playing this guitar, my LTD, through that head, and I was running into my. SD1 to get my uh, steady like tones and I don't know you know what I have to work with now my line 6 I'm not gonna lie pretty much all the drive sounds are useless on this amp but if I go to the clean channel turn all the gain down and just you get the gain from my SD1, I'm able to get a usable sound out of it. But it's, it's pretty extreme. I had to drive all the way down. I got the bass all the way up. Got the mid all the way up as well. The trebles all the way up. Channels, volumes all the way up. It's crazy. Got none of these effects around except the reverb. I can get semi decent sound out of it, but it's different from my amp. And I really like it. And since I play out in the garage, it gets cold at night, so I gotta take all my gear in. So that means I gotta take my guitar, this heavy ass 412 this amp all up to the house drums can stay here they don't need any special treatment all right so let's wind up some some cables real quick Okay, so I got my guitar packed away, my line 6 unplugged, now we gotta go down the stairs. Alright, my phone's dying so I gotta put it on the portable charger. Life of a guitarist carrying amps down the stairs, it sucks. Alright, I got my amps downstairs so now I gotta walk all the way up to the house where that faint light is. It's way in the distance. Gotta get this old cabinet in. It's a 215 for my earth amp. It's got a different covering. It's supposed to be like that posh, uh, almost like leather material with like some foam in it with, with like little diamond buttons for cool design, but it doesn't have it. But unfortunately, it's, I meant fortunately, it still works. So that's good. All right, so I got my stuff in the house here. I'm gonna take it in my jam room. I'll give you a little tour. This is also gonna be the first time me showing you my jam room. I just cleaned it up the other day. All right, this is my jam room. Well, it's not really my jam room. I don't jam in here. This is where I keep all my stuff. Uh, I'll go through a little bit of what's in here. This is my buddy's PV, PV Max 112. That's a quick look at the control panel. You got a 112, 200 watts. Sounds pretty good. Uh, I got a Line 6 Spider 475 watt, 112. I bought a second one so I can run them in stereo. 
This is my Line 6 Spider 2 head that my uncle gave me. And this is a Behringer foot switch for an amp that I sold to my buddy that I need to give to him still. The LTD I've been playing in the last couple of videos is in my gig bag right here. Uh, this is the crate head. Uh, it doesn't work. I took a reverb tank out of it. I just keep it in here. Just because. That's my uh, PB, PB412. It had one blown speaker in it. And that other 412 that was in the last couple videos that I was using with my earth amp. It had a blown speaker in it. So I took took the blown speaker out of the B52 cab. And I took two good ones out of this cab. Put it in another cab so the other cab has all good speakers. And I put the two bad ones in here. So right now this 412 only has two speakers that work in it. Over here is my earth amp. The one... Just doing that weird distorting around two in the volume. It's supposed to stay clean, but it don't. I had a reverb, reverb tank hooked up to it. And it quit working. So. And then right down here, I got a mid-60s black face fender. I believe it is a... Bandmaster or Baseman 212. It has a two Oxford speakers in it. Unfortunately, both of them had rips in the speakers, so I am looking to replace them with Jensen C12Ns when I get the money to. Right here, I got my trusty, dusty Epiphone SG400. I had this guitar for about four or five years now it is a great guitar it has a good feel um, as you can see from playing so much I got some fade building up here and it is just starting to appear on the neck as well and then on this side there's some right here there's chips and chips and scratches but it makes this guitar unique I really like it, it has character it's been played it's a good guitar. I also upgraded the stock tuners with Grover locking tuners that were 90 bucks. Back here, I got my LTD. It's the same thing as my other one, except it has 22 frets without Floyd Rose. I have a bunch of stickers on it. It's currently out of commission because a tuner broke on my other LTD, and they have the same tuners so I need to get a tuner for this and get a truss rod and an intonation adjustment and this guitar will be good and here I got a little cheap acoustic guitar that the neck's coming off the body so it's pretty fucked uh, I got a drum head in here a couple spare ones for drums that I don't have um, drum hoops the lugs and then uh, guitar case this right here is a Behringer pedal board that fits 10 pedals it's a great pedal board in here so I can get it out all right in here I have Boss ME80 effects pedal. Um, I don't really use it that much. It's got a lot of effects, but it sounds digital, and I don't really care for it. All right, let's put this back away. Right here is my snare drum for my Pearl drum kit. It's got a hole in it. Um, Right in here, this is actually the case for my school snare from middle school. Uh, I used the snare out of it for my drum kit. It's got a bell kit in here too, uh, and my stand. And there's nothing in those boxes. Uh, the line six I bought used.
came in this box. This box way down there. It's a cheap little home karaoke thing that was given to me. Up here, again, more boxes. That's a metal zone, boss metal zone that's took apart. Junk. This is a Digitech foot switch for my Digitech 2120 valve guitar system programmable preamp processor. Uh, I used, only used it a couple times. I need to get a fuse for it. I popped the fuse. Uh, right up here I have another Digitech signal processes, processor. Got some a bit of defects on it. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a Zoom 16 track recorder with the built in CD burner. I'll pull that down one second. All right, this is what she looks like. We got a drum machine for bass and drums. Got all your effects. You got eight mono tracks, four stereo master. You got editing, EQ, all your effects you want, bounce. Um, you got your input gain on and off switch. Got your inputs back here. Smart CA, MIDI. It's got phantom power as well. This is a little cheap Sony subwoofer. This bag, some old capacitors and shit for my tube amp. This is an old tool, toolbox I used to put my pedals in, which I'll go through my pedals in a minute. I got my little Marshall 40 watt solid state amp, one of my first amps. I got my pearl kick pedal, the beaters off it. Then, got two RCA speakers. The first stack of bass amp that I blew. <laughs> Don't know why I still have it. And up here, I got some headphones, parts, pencils. I got a bunch. I got my old tubes right here. Uh, some marine ball regular sunkies and uh, some power sunkies. Got a Joyo roll boost. Joyo noise gate. Phase 90. Joyo six band EQ. One of the lights broke so this fader don't work. Boss RC1 loop station. Power supply master switch. Again Boss. Boss super overdrive. Boss CS3 compression sustainer. And Boss DS1. We got a Morley ABY. Uh, I got a bunch of picks, pencils, adapters, screwdrivers in here. Coffee cup. Got to have coffee. It's my little 12 watt RMS guitar amp. I got a PreSonus stereo tube mic pre little direct out box uh behringer stereo headphone lamp there they just got some tire books and stuff back here and a little tuner that's the reverb tank that i was talking about earlier I forgot to show you this Ibanez bass I got from my buddy Matt. Plays pretty good. Then right here I got a bunch of empty milk crates. I used some of them for amp stands. Then down here, a bunch of CD cases, parts and shit. Then I got my power cord separated from my audio cables. And then I just use my other ones for the amp stands, putting pedals and cables in, transporting gear and stuff. This is also a wood floor in here, so I laid down a bunch of carpets to absorb some of the noise. 
All right, that's going to wrap it up for today. So please like, comment, and subscribe. This is my little jam room or equipment room that I got in the house set up. Uh, yeah, I like it. Put a nice place I can store all my gear. So yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you later.